Continuing with the Trans QX7 series of videos, as always, look in the description for a link to it. Now it's time to upgrade the firmware of our transmitters. In the last video, we downloaded the OpenTX Companion, and uh, just real quick, one thing I did forget to mention. We went to this main screen on OpenTX.org, scrolled down to News, and downloaded the new, or the newest, release candidate of OpenTX 2.2. If you are watching this video in the future, then you probably don't have to do that. And the reason I say that is because this is still a release candidate, meaning it's still in the beta testing. Once 2.2 is officially released, then you will be able to find it in the Downloads tab where version 2.1 currently is. So uh, that's just something to be aware of. So hopefully that didn't cause too much confusion. I try to keep my videos as future-proof as possible. But either way, upgrading the firmware is going to be exactly the same. So let's... Uh, connect our transmitter to the computer just like in the last video we want to hold both these in power it on we get a screen like this then we want to plug in the USB cable the screen now looks like this and go into the OpenTX companion okay we want to read models and settings just make sure that we are properly connected and we are then click on this little settings cog then go to simulator no application settings and you want to turn on use OpenTX firmware and nightly builds and th this is just for you guys that are using the release candidate versions if you're watching this in the future and 2.2 is officially released then you don't have to do this you also want to turn on use companion nightly builds and automatic check for companion updates. So basically I have all these turned on. Um, like I said, some things will be a little bit different in the future once 2.2 is officially released, but for the most part it's going to be the same. So now let's click OK. Then you want to close this out, then reopen it. Let's read models and settings. At this point, you should be getting a pop-up message asking if you want to download the newest version of firmware. It's not doing that for me because I've already closed that out. And um, But either way, even if it's not showing up for you or if you accidentally close that uh, message out, you just have to click on this little download icon right here and then do download firmware. And this is what you guys will have to do in the future once 2.2 is officially released. Now let's pick a folder. Um, by default, it's going to try to put it into your uh, like programs folder. It won't let you download it there. So just like in the last video, I have my OpenTX folder that I created. I'm going to keep all my stuff in here. And I've already made a firmware folder inside of that just to help me remember where it's at and then save. Do you want to write the firmware to the radio now? Click yes. And it's already pulled up the firmware file for us here. It shows us the version and that's it. So leave this checked, write to TX. Flashing done, we can click close. By the way, if you do uh, want to check if there is an update, not for the version of firmware, but to the OpenTX companion, then that is what this button is for. And it's telling us there's no updates at this time. So we can click OK, OK. We can close this out, disconnect the USB, scroll down to exit, and it's going to restart. At any time, if you want to see what version of firmware is on this, hold down the menu button and then page over to page 5 of 9 which is version and it's going to show you the version of firmware on it right here so this did update the date isn't the date that you put this on this is the date that the uh, firmware was created which was March 23rd so we're all done so look in the description to find the next video which I will show you how to uh, install the SD card and get all the files that we need to put on the SD card. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.